Because of the COVID-19 pandemic, Chibuli Mosque was closed to the faithful who usually congregate to celebrate Eid. Prayer places were some of those first affected by the lockdown in March. La ilaha illallah. The titular head of the Muslim community in Uganda, Prince Kasim Nachibinge, had Idil Fitr prayers at his home in Chiboli. A few people were invited to the event that observed strict social distancing guidelines. Prince Nachibinge has asked Parliament to trim luxuries from the budget to prioritize revival of businesses of low-income earners affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. Some of those areas we think you have to revisit especially is the travel budget, the purchase of motor vehicles, seminars, and all others. We believe you should reallocate those resources through the micro support center so that funds are allocated to the micro institutions like circles so that the majority of Ugandans, those who are low-income earners, can access these resources. The parliament needs to revisit our budget and refocus it through the needs of the press, the pressing needs of the people. Mulimu billion bibiri 10 na mukaga za seminar and workshops. Tell you what tell in Zigale, tell you mtu agenda kupera mu seminar ya social distancing. He also highlighted the need to give the health sector a boost during this pandemic. We have all been stuck here whether you have money or not, whether you have whatever means, you couldn't travel abroad. So it is a wake up call that the better that we should have more resources in the health sector that whatever fate comes, at least all Ugandans can access. Whereas Nachibinge appreciates the efforts of security operatives during the lockdown, he was concerned about incidents of brutality by some individuals in enforcing the law. Only that there are some rogue elements who have been high-handed and we think they should prevail over these few elements so that all Ugandans can always live in a good and free environment. He also called on the Minister of Education to prevail over schools when students report back after the lockdown to prevent parents from being exploited. Many people don't have the funds to pay school fees up front, so they should prevail over them and see how best this thing can be handled, that the kids go back to school and see also how they can support the institutions so that the schools reopen. Twitter government ibe ko biye yamba ku institutions zezenja uru osolo kwe imiri zao nga bwetu ongelo kubiri za amasumiru gona okuyamba kubazadde nina abazadde benyini bayino kumanyati amasumiru gona nago maavu makalu. So Chibinge has also asked government to look into the plight of Ugandans stuck abroad. Sami Allahul man hamida. The silence here at Chivoli Mosque tells it all that it's business unusual and it's only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who can tell when government will lift the lockdown so as for the Muslim faithfuls to come back and pray from this magnificent mosque. Idim Barak, Ali Mivole, NTV.